Have you been told by your doctor that your triglycerides are too high? If so, you're not alone. Did you know that one third of Americans have what's considered to be high levels? This means their triglycerides are above 150 milligrams per deciliter or 1.69 millimoles per litre. Unfortunately, high levels are a major risk factor for heart attacks, strokes, a life-threatening disease called pancreatitis, and other chronic health conditions. As you can see, high triglycerides is not something to take lightly. So make sure to watch this entire video so you can learn some of the best strategies to get your triglycerides down quickly and remove the worst causes too. Unfortunately, thanks to the lobbying efforts of powerful food companies influencing food policy, many people eat foods that are disastrous for triglyceride levels and don't know it. For example, there is a certain type of starch food found in many common foods that dramatically shoots triglycerides dangerously high. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Heart Disease Code. We've got amazing new content each week. Also, stick around because later in this video, we'll show you how to receive two free gifts on us. Triglycerides are a form of lipoprotein. The formation of these lipoproteins occur from any unused excess calories, including those from sugar, protein, fat and alcohol. The triglycerides become stored in fat cells as a source of stored energy. The reason high levels of triglycerides are so problematic is they cause LDL cholesterol particles to become small and dense. LDL cholesterol is often referred to as bad cholesterol. However, this isn't necessarily true, as some people have high levels without any issues. In fact, statistics show that 50% of heart attack victims have normal levels of LDL cholesterol. This is why some experts are now claiming the size of the LDL particle is what really matters. Smaller particles drive the risk of heart attack up. A paper published in the International Journal of Cardiology stated that patients with high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol and small dense LDL cholesterol were at much greater risk of heart disease regardless of their LDL cholesterol level. Unfortunately, a standard lipid panel can't detect the size of your LDL cholesterol. Therefore, the level of your triglycerides will give you a good indicator of the health of your cholesterol and your risk of heart disease. Another important thing to understand is that high triglycerides often go hand in hand with low HDL cholesterol levels. HDL cholesterol is often referred to as the good cholesterol because it's believed to be protective for our heart. Hence, getting these two lipoproteins in their correct ratio is critical for heart health. To work out the ratio, take the triglycerides and divide by the HDL. The closer to one, the better. For example, triglycerides of 150 mg per deciliter and HDL of 50 mg per deciliter is 150 over 50, which equals 3. This indicates a significantly increased risk of a cardiovascular event. The root cause of high triglycerides is food, drink and lifestyle. Therefore, it's essential to uncover what steps we can take to lower them and keep our hearts healthy. So now let's look at nine amazing ways to lower them. Number nine, exercise regularly. If you have high levels of HDL cholesterol, this can help reduce triglycerides. One of the ways to increase your HDL levels is by moving your body. A study conducted in 1990 confirmed this. The researcher took 61 middle-aged sedentary men. The men were told to jog for two hours every week over a month period. The researchers found the men significantly increased their HDL cholesterol and lowered their triglycerides. Moving your body regularly aids the body to burn its stored triglycerides. It can also help with weight loss, another factor associated with lowering triglycerides. It will also improve blood flow and overall feeling of well-being. So as little as half an hour exercise four times a week can help improve this blood marker. Whether you jog, bike, swim or dance, be sure to get your body moving. Number eight, review medications. Certain pharmaceuticals can raise triglycerides. The ones that have been associated with increased levels of triglycerides include certain blood pressure medication, 
corticosteroids, often known as steroids, antipsychotics used to manage psychosis, isotretinoin, which is often used for acne as well as to treat certain cancers, HIV treatments and estrogen. If you are on any of these medications, then you may want to consult your healthcare practitioner and discuss if other treatments that will not raise your triglycerides are a potential. You may also find there are natural ways that you can support your well-being that will not have a knock-on effect of increasing ill health. This leads me to our next way to lower triglycerides, which is also a great way to improve health. Number seven, avoid processed carbohydrates. One of the chief ways triglycerides can be raised is through simple carbohydrates. And of these, one of the worst culprits is wheat. This is due to a starch it contains called amylopectin A. Studies have found that when this starch is consumed, the liver quickly converts it into triglycerides. In the past, scientists thought that eating fat raised triglycerides. However, now we know that simple carbohydrates cause them to rise way more than fat does. Simple carbs, such as breads, pasta and pastries, when digested and processed by the liver, flood the bloodstream with triglycerides. This process is called de novo lipogenesis. A sure sign of high triglycerides is an expanding waistline. So if you want to get your triglycerides down as well as trim down your waist, be sure to cut out the simple carbs. Another way to reduce consumption of carbohydrates is our number six, avoid fructose, which is the type of sugar found naturally in fruit. Now fructose might sound kind of healthy, right? After all, it comes from fruit. Well, when fibre is present with fructose, which is the case when you eat whole fruits, the absorption into the blood is much slower, blunting its effect. However, when fructose is refined and turned into a sweetener that is added to foods during manufacturing, it's a whole new ball game. Eating an orange compared to drinking a soda causes a vastly different response from the body when it processes the fructose found in both. Studies have shown that consuming sweeteners high in fructose significantly raises triglycerides. Fructose is a type of sugar that has been found to play a significant role in damaging the body's metabolic systems, leading to issues such as type 2 diabetes and obesity, both of which are associated with increased triglycerides. Normal sugar that is referred to as sucrose is made up of 50% fructose and 50% glucose. Glucose doesn't appear to have the same metabolic effect that fructose does. It is notably less sweet than fructose. However, one of the most common sweeteners used in commercially made products is high fructose corn syrup. This contains 55% fructose. In the US, it can be found in almost all foods containing caloric sweeteners. These include soft drinks, fruit drinks, candied fruits, canned fruits, dairy desserts, flavoured yogurts, baked goods, cereals and jellies. Another important thing to remember is that sugar is empty calories. It has no nutritional value and is highly addictive. Thus you are way more likely to overeat foods high in sugar. The knock-on effect is raised triglycerides and less nutrition, making it even harder for your body to work optimally. Now you might be wondering, what can I eat? This leads me to the next step, which we'll uncover shortly. But before we do that, are you ready for two free gifts? If you want to learn more about reducing your risk of a heart attack, then why not download our free ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. Plus, get exclusive insights from some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals by watching the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Both gifts can be grabbed simply by clicking the link in the description below. So go and claim them for free. Number five, replace your high carbohydrate sugar rich foods with a wide range of plant-based foods. Eating plenty of vegetables will ensure that you get a good amount of fiber. Consuming soluble fiber is key for creating a healthy lipid profile. This is especially true for decreasing triglyceride levels. A 2011 Tunisian study found that women who increased their dietary fibre improved their triglyceride levels. Eating a diet that is plant strong will also help cultivate good gut bacteria. The gut converts healthy fibres into butyrate. 
This is a fatty acid that creates positive metabolic effects. These include reduction of insulin resistance, improved blood glucose and lowering of triglycerides. Further types of food can be hugely beneficial for triglycerides. This includes our number four, foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These can be found in fatty fish, olives, certain nuts and seeds. Consuming omega-3 fatty acids affects multiple risk pathways in the body. Importantly, it affects how fat and cholesterol are transported in the blood. Omega-3 help this process work optimally and lower the amount of fat, triglyceride, in the blood. More specifically, omega-3 fatty acids from fatty fish speed up the clearance of fatty acids from the bloodstream. This helps triglyceride levels stay in a healthy range. So source some good quality fatty fish such as herring, mackerel, sardines or salmon. Now for number three, reduce alcohol intake. Research shows that for every ounce of alcohol consumed, triglyceride levels go up by 5 to 10 percent in comparison to someone who doesn't drink alcohol. What's interesting to note is that it is handled as a toxin in the body. Therefore, the digestion of other foods are put on hold, causing the calories to be stored for later. Excess calories from alcohol are stored as triglycerides in fat cells. According to a 2013 review that analysed the effect alcohol had on triglycerides, patients who had hypertriglyceridemia are advised to avoid alcohol completely. However, if your levels are only slightly raised, be sure to drink in moderation. Next up, if you're interested in lowering triglycerides and your weight, but you're not into fancy diets, then this has you covered. Number two, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is based on the idea of reducing the time period that you eat. An example of this is finishing eating at 6 p.m. in the evening and then not eating again until 10 a.m. the next day. This gives you a 16 hour fast period. This enables the body to have a rest from digestion and gives it time to use up the stored triglycerides. This method doesn't specify which food should be eaten but focuses on limiting the time of eating. Following this method means you don't have to spend time worrying about eating certain foods and preparing them. You simply eat what you normally do but just time it to create longer fasting periods. Many people find as they begin to do this, their body adapts to fasting and they get used to eating less frequently. Being in the faster state enables the body to enhance insulin sensitivity, decrease insulin levels and burn off stored fat. Adjusting your lifestyle to eat this way can be beneficial for weight loss, increased energy and triglyceride levels. A review of numerous studies on fasting found that alternate day fasting had a significant positive effect on triglyceride and cholesterol levels. Finally, we're about to unveil our number one way to lower triglycerides. It's completely free and you have to do it every day. But first, if you want to learn more about reducing your risk of heart attack, then why not download our free ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. And if you'd really like to understand the full picture for fighting and preventing heart disease, check out episode one of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Both gifts are free and waiting for you now. Just click the link in the description below. Number one, prioritizing sleep could be one of the biggest game changers for health and that includes your triglycerides. When we sleep, our body is able to restore and recharge. It releases hormones that help your tissues and cells repair. Furthermore, sleeping enables blood pressure to drop, heart rate to slow, and your breathing relaxes. Quality sleep gives your heart time to recover from its hard work during waking hours. A 2008 study found that when participants had less than five hours sleep a night, their risk of high triglycerides increased significantly. Additionally, a study that looked at 2,705 participants found that those who slept too little had an increased likelihood of high triglycerides and low HDL cholesterol. This is thought to be due to the way lack of quality shut-eye affects our hormones. It can cause an increase in production of the stress hormone called cortisol and the appetite-boosting hormone ghrelin, but too little leptin which regulates body weight. This hormone imbalance can cause blood lipids to become out of balance too. 
So how do we improve sleep? One of the key ways is to avoid exposure to blue light a couple of hours before bedtime, as this can affect your hormones that help you go to sleep. Blue light is emitted from screens. Simply using a blue blocking app on your devices can significantly help. Further ways to improve sleep is to keep your bedroom cool, dark and comfortable. Finally, going to bed and getting up at the same time every day also improves sleep quality. That about sums up our top nine ways to lower triglycerides fast. Have you lowered your triglycerides successfully? Share your experience with our community in the comments below. And before you leave, make sure to claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our Heart Disease Code channel and hit that bell button for more help managing your blood health. Thanks for watching and have a heart healthy day.